Hello dear friends, Namaste. Today I have a special treat for you, a sequence of restorative yoga. This yoga bases itself on the idea of trust, grounding yourself and letting go, surrendering. So we'll be holding the poses for five minutes or longer and this way we are just letting our body adjust itself to the pose we are not forcing we are trusting the process we are trusting our body we are trusting the gravity the universe at this exact moment so what do we need today we will need a bolster I have a more flat one, it can be rounder. If you don't have a bolster, you can always substitute it for a pillow. Just get one pillow or two from your bed and wrap it in the blanket to create more or less a shape. This is your bolster. Then we will need two yoga blocks. Also, if you don't have them, it's not a problem. You can use uh, two books. Just make sure they are of the same thickness. And I'm having a small towel here. Just sometimes we will need support. You can also have a blanket to wrap yourself in it. It's all about making yourself feel comfortable. And I trust you know how to do that. So why don't we begin? Uh, we will start with something less long at the same time it will be a very gentle sequence just to get into this mood so we will be cultivating the relaxation inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose this time. couple of breaths on your own now put one of your hands on the floor and reach with another one to the sky and towards the ground A gentle side body stretch Now do the same thing on the other side. back to center bring both of your hands up and rotate towards one knee put the hand down and another one on the knee look over your shoulder
get back to center, hands up, and towards another knee. Get back to center. Now we will stand up, but only for some time, don't worry. Stand in front of the wall. Several feet distance from you on the wall. Then you can bend and touch the wall. Create a flat back. Just your hands to make the back even more flat and stay here. Expanding your chest, expanding your lower back, your neck is between your hands. Don't drop it as of now. Breathe deeply. Feel like you're growing horizontally, like each vertebra of your spine is growing, is getting more space around it, is healing. Now get closer to the wall and touch and bend your knees, touch the wall with your head and with your shoulders. So your shoulders and your head are in one line, put your hands down for support. Bend your knees generously to unload the lower back. And just hold yourself near the wall, releasing the tension from the neck, the upper back. Gentle inversion. Gentle fold forward. Okay, slowly start bending your knees even more down. Keep your head lowered, otherwise you can feel a little dizzy. Stay here. You can go into yogic squat. Or just stay squatting and rocking your body forward and back. Bring your head up. And we are ready to start with our first restorative pose. For this, you will need to use your blanket or towel over your forehead. And two of your blocks will be on your shoulder level. Your chest is going to go between them. And you can lean your bolster in front of the wall to create this kind of angle because we will put our feet on it. Alternatively, you can use another blanket or pillow to put under if you don't have a wall. Just put something under and the bolster will be looking in the right direction. Okay. So now we need to position ourselves on our stomach. So my bolster just fell down. 
yeah actually putting pillow would be a great idea but i don't have one i used all my pillows today okay that's so comfy i immediately feel how my shoulders are going backwards because we tend to slouch during the day and it turns into a habit and habit turns into a posture so it's good sometimes to do reversible reverse postures okay and i'm gonna set the timer for you to just relax adjust whatever you need this is your pose so take time to build your restorative pose I'll set the timing for you. I'm always here for you. You don't need to worry about anything. And just close your eyes. Deep inhale and exhale. And surrender into the pose. In this pose, our our legs are slightly elevated and our shoulders are drawn backwards while head is resting straight on the floor, strengthening and straightening with its own weight. So that's a very interesting combination of body positioning and actually long time being in this position and five minutes is already a pretty long time it is actually pretty stimulating it gives energy it stimulates our adrenal glands it stimulates our kidney so this is one of these relaxing poses that actually give you energy in a very relaxed manner. So try to just melt into your props. That's why the pose should be comfortable enough that you don't strain anything. You're not trying to be comfortable, you just are, because you're letting go of a control, you're melting into the pose, you're melting into the props, you're allowing your body weight to be. Thank you. 
Okay. Slowly start feeling yourself with the air. Drop your feet down to the floor and lift yourself up. Slowly and gently. Just as you're getting into the pose, you're getting out of the pose. You can sit on your heels in the center just for a couple of minutes, just for a couple of breaths to track how you feel after this pause. And then we are going to another one for this pose. We will put one of our blocks on the rib and another flat on the front. We will put our bolster on top of this both blocks. And this is gonna be an elevated child pose. So very comfortably, you can sit near the bolster. If you have a pillow or a blanket you want to put under your sit bones, that's perfectly fine and normal. That will make it more comfortable for you. Then just embrace your bolster. Embrace yourself giving in. And we'll spend five minutes here. You can put your head on the side. Somewhere in the middle, I'll tell you to change the side so that your neck gets gets its own position in both directions, not to overstimulate one side. And just let go. Okay, now turn your head to another side and release. Maybe you will immediately feel how your entire body feels different from the slightest change in the head position. Restorative yoga is all about 
subtleness, we acknowledge big impact of small things, and that's ordinary. Start getting yourself up. Mm. Once again, try to feel the changes in slightness. I, for some reason, feel how the air is entering my nose in a very different unique way after being in a child pose like the air seems colder pressure very interesting observations sometimes you get okay the next few poses are going to be a little shorter but just a little bit because we'll do them on both sides so for, the, for this one, we will need to put our bolster on the side and touch it with our hip bone. We can use one of the blocks to put in between our knees for extra comfort. And then making sure your hip bone is just on the border with the bolster. Get yourself down. You can put your blanket or towel or pillow, whatever you have under your head for extra comfort, but don't lift it too much. The elevation is happening at the lower back on the side, and it's actually a very beautiful releasing pose for the lower back. You can even bring your upper hand over your head or keep your both hands in front of you. Do as it's comfortable for you. This is your practice. This is your body. This is you talking to your own physical aspect of being. You understanding your own temple, which our body is for us, for our spirit.
Okay, slowly start getting yourself up. Sit cross-legged for some time in a straight position. Once again, try to feel the subtle nuances of the changes that are occurring in your body, depending on the position it takes. A delicate balance, the ecosystem of our own selves. We are the microcosm within the macrocosm. Okay, so now put your bolster across your yoga mat on another side. Have your block between your knees or not. It depends how you prefer it. Position in your hip bone on the border with the bolster. Just lie across it and melt into the floor. Bring your hand up while I'm setting the timer for you. You are taken care of. Don't forget it. You are taken care of. You trust that whatever is happening is for your well-being. You are capable of everything. You are loved and supported. All the love and the support that you need are within you.
Okay. Slowly starting yourself up. You can hold hand on your elbow for some time, all in on both elbows. Maybe you want to move a little bit. Okay, we are ready for our final pose of the day. This is Shavasana with legs in the butterflies in Baddha Kanasana. So once again, bring your bolster towards the base of your spine. Position both of your block on the level of your hip nearby your knees and slowly vertebra by vertebra relax on the bolster. Have your hands at the side or over the head. Close your eyes. Breathe freely while I'm setting up the timer for you. Here you're finally opening your heart towards the sky in the ultimate trust. The sides of your body are melting into the floor. Your feet are touching and you can feel yourself as a vessel which hosts the energy to run through and at the moment it's feeling it's vibrating through the shape you have created the diamond shape of your legs the elevated shape of your spine the slightly reclined head Relax your forehead. Relax your cheeks, your jaws. Relax your throat, your neck, shoulders. Everything is just surrendering to its own weight and existing in this moment of time. This particular weight of the gravity. I am the universe within the universe you can repeat to yourself as your body accepts its message it restores restores your muscles rebuilds your cells it heals the tissues it heals your mind you're just given it space and time to do the work it has to do.
Okay, sweeties, time to wake up. So make the outing of the pose in a very sweet, sweet, small way, bringing it together to touch, roll off the balls to do the floor. You can stretch here. Press yourself up. And three inhales and exhales before we open our eyes. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Open your eyes and cherish yourself in this practice. Please write in the comments below how did you like this type of yoga? How did you feel after it? And did it help you with sore muscles, fatigue, anxiety? Actually, I've been practicing yoga for a really, really long time but mostly more active types of yoga, like Hatha, Vinyasa. But this yoga is my recent revelation. And when I found it, to tell the truth, that was a very interesting encounter. It's like, you know, the artist who draws very complex sceneries, suddenly finds beauty in drawing a simple flower on a white background of paper. So it's like finding beauty in this kind of simplicity. And more than that, finding benefit. <laughs> because you can actually check Google and research done on the restorative yoga and how beneficial it is for body. And actually it even helps to lose weight even though it's contradictory to our understanding of weight loss as burning calories here we don't do any movement at the same time the groups that were practicing restorative yoga were researched uh, in comparison to the groups who practiced aerobics and restorative yoga practitioners lost more weight than aerobics practitioners so some things we can't explain with pure physics there is a lot to our mental state there is a lot to to the atmosphere to the environment we create and i wish you all to absorb this environment from such practices like the restorative yoga and bring it into the day don't lose it on the way and if you do lose it don't worry, you can always find it again. Many hugs to you all. Best wishes. Namaste.